Collection Pouch. The actual situation of today's Christianity, yeah? no sitting together with the different skin colors, lost much of the power to put the words into practice, sexual immorality, no blocking down. Conventional Christianity stands powerless to carry on God's providence to save humanity in this present age. Although Christian doctrine teaches that all humanity uh, descended from the same parents, many citizens of Christian nations who profess this doctrine will not even sit together with their brother and sisters of different skin colors. Julius. Conventional Christianity. This illustrates the actual situation of today's Christianity, which has lost much power, much of the power to put the words of Jesus into practice. There is one social vice that human efforts alone can never eradicate, that is sexual immorality. <coughs> Christian doctrine regards this as a cardinal sin. What a tragedy that today's Christian society cannot block this path of ruin down which so many people are rushing blindly. This is evidence that conventional Christianity stands powerless to carry on God's providence to save humanity in this present age. So, divine principle mentioned about Christians, Christian nations today. Although Christian doctrine teaches that all humanity descended from the same parents, many citizens of the Christian nations who profess this doctrine will not even sit together with the, their brothers and sisters of different skin colors. This illustrates the actual situation of today's Christianity, which has lost much of the power to put the words of Jesus into practice. Christian racial uh, discrimination and the solution. Christianity lost the power to put the words into practice. They are to keep talking about we are brothers and sisters, you know, you are my brother, you are my sister, even though they are talking about Christian teach, Christian doctrine teach about, you know, all humanity, we are brothers and sisters. However, what is the current situation of the Christianity, Christianity today? That's why, in order to solve this issue, especially Christian racial discrimination, how to solve this issue? Father said, we need to have a very clear slogan and goal we must realize one big family on the world. This is the only solution. Okay? That's why Father created inter-religious activity, mm -hmm. international activities, you know? international and the inter-religious activities. So Father's doctrine is, uh, our divine principle doctrine is very clear how to establish one family on the world. And then, that's why uh, just now I'm talking about international and interreligious uh, blessing ceremony. This is the only solution. How to solve the, the problems of 
racial uh, discrimination. Christianity exists only in form, right? So very much formalized and ritualized. This is our now Christianity problems. So in order to solve the, this problem, how to do, we must establish a culture of heart centered on God. So even our movement, even our unification movement, if we just uh, really focus on the external activity, there is no heart, mm -hmm. no uh, the heavenly culture, uh, no heartistic culture, then even our movement is going away. Mm -hmm. Even though our true parents initiated, you know, mm -hmm. our movement, there's no artistic <coughs> culture, then can go away, can be gone away. So that's why everything we should do centering on heart, how to uh, cultivate our heart. That is the most important issue. That's why Father said philosophy should be a philosophy of heart. Mm -hmm. Religion should be religion of heart. Science should be science of heart. Everything connect to the heart. Everything need to connect to by that cultural heart. Otherwise, uh, any activities, any uh, organization, just only remain as a what that as a just only external religion, external organization, just formalized and ritualized. This is the problems. They become dry and dry and dry. That's why Father said, as a foreigner, you are easy to, easy to become dry. Why? Because you do not know the heart culture. So heart culture comes from languages. That's why all of you, you need to learn Korean language, original language, Father's language. You need to learn Korean language. Otherwise, you just only understand Father's situation, uh, the principle very externally. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to really learn about the Korean language because not because of the father's language. The father's language is the language of the heart. We need to know about that. That's why language should be heartistic language. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised by Reverend Yohani guidance. One day he uh, shared to the, you know, his disciples, he said, do you know what is the life of faith? At the time, just only 19 years old, I was just only 19 years old man. I totally shocked and surprised. I still really in, uh, remain in my heart. He said, do you know what is the life of faith? Life of faith means, he said in Korean, 정든 거야. 신앙은 정드는 거야. Do you understand? 정드는 거야. 정드는 거야. Faith means 정드는 거야. 정드는 거야 means to make heartistic relationship. This is the life of faith. How to make heartistic relationship with God. How to make heartistic relationship with heavenly parents and true parents with our brothers and sisters. This is the life of faith. Mm -hmm. Even though we are focused on, you know, you know World Summit, and then we are celebrating through parents' birthday, and then holy wedding ceremony, this is the also important. But importantly, through this kind of ceremony, this kind of uh, World Summit, what's the final result? How to build up artistic relations with God, with the true parents, among brothers and sisters, this is our fundamental purpose. Aju? Aju. Uh, but when we focus on something, we are just only uh, influenced by external environment, dominated by external environment. We finally lose <coughs> our internal purpose. That's why you need to, you don't forget this main point. What the life of faith? How to build up heartistic relationship no matter whatever, no matter what you are doing. This is a very important point. Why Christianity lost God? Why Christianity become very much external? 
Why does only formalize and ritualize? The because they lost the main point. You know, first Christian spirit they lost. You know, when Christian uh, movement uh, begin, okay, everybody is so much hardest. We call it shiku, like a like shiku feeling. Mm. You are my own brothers and sisters. You are my father. You are my mother. Like a very much. Family atmosphere. Do you feel that? Do you feel among brothers and sisters? We are same brothers and sisters. We are following true parents' uh, guidance. Most important thing is what heart. That's why how to cultivate our heart, mm. and then connect to heavenly parents and true parents, and then how can we multiply? Take from the cultural heart to the people. This is the, our fundamental goal. No cre- Christianity, no heart. Our unification movement, our unification church groups. No heart means you are become very much external, very much what is that formula or for, for formalized, and very much become hypocrite. Jesus really insulted to Jewish people. What is that? You are hypocrite. Just you ritualized. Just only follow the external tradition. But there is no heart. No heart. You see? Heart is more deeper than love. Ajo. Heart is more deeper. Huh? Yes, the day before I attended through parents first day. I was totally shocked when I see through mothers. Helps. She even she could not stand. Just for a while. Ask somebody bring the chairs. When I look at this kind of situation, I was really so sad and I, I really cried. And then at the end of the celebration, I strongly determined myself before mother become worse, before mother getting more older, I really, really offer quickly one nation, one sovereignty, one people. Substantialize the change. Quickly, this is my strong determination. The day before yesterday. Hmm. And then here, yeah, read. There is one social vice that human efforts alone can never eradicate. That is sexual immorality. You look at that. There is one social vice that human efforts alone can never eradicate. Cannot solve any chapter of the problem by human power at all. At all. Even though you put so much effort and so much your internal what that emotion. Father said, you cannot solve this problem by human power. That is sexual immorality. Impossible. Throughout 6,000 years of history, okay, since Adam and Eve no, fell, who solved this issue? Noah, Abraham, Moses, even Jesus could not solve this issue. solve this problem by your own self, by own human power. Read, read. Christian doctrine regards this as a cardinal sin. What a tragedy that today's Christian society cannot block this path of ruin down which so many people are rushing blindly. This is evidence that conventional Christianity stands powerless to carry on God's providence to save humanity in this present age. You cannot solve chapter two problem, the problem of the fornication, 
God leave from your heart. God leave from your church. God leave from your own family. God leave from your own center. If you do not solve this problem, huh? that's why now, okay, where there is a Christianity, there is no God, no God, because they could not solve this sexual immorality. That's why you do not know how to kick out your chapter to problem. God cannot dwell within your, within your heart. What to do? Huh? If the problem of sexual immorality cannot be resolved, all religion becomes what that? incompetent. No capability. No ability. Father said, if the problem of the sexual immorality is not resolved, you become an incompetent parent, incompetent leader, incompetent able, and incompetent church. You are not capable. So as a leader, one of the most important ability, capability is what? How to solve chapter two problem? How to solve the problem of the fornication? As a leader, you do not know how to solve it. As the leader, do not know how to become the standard of the chapter two problem. Then you are incapable. You are incompetent. God does not about the help you at all. This is the issue. How about you? You are you are competent parent. You are competent leader. You are competent able. You are your church is a competent church. Or? Very very serious. I'm talking now. True mother giving on again the holy wine. Forgiven us the holy wine. You need to think seriously. Maybe a unification book will always provide this kind of holy wine again and again and again. If you have this kind of concept and attitude, you will perish. You will perish. If the problem of the sexual immorality is not resolved, the providence of restoration becomes incompetent. And God withdraws, Father said, God withdraws, God leave. Anyone having chapter the problem, God leave from your heart. Even a few, four, five brothers and sisters have chapter the problem in your center, then God leave from your center. Left. God withdraw. That's why most important is sexual purity. Sexual purity, our pure mind. God only come down when we have the pure mind. Aju, very important I am telling you. Huh? To solve the problem of sexual immorality, then what to do? First one, you need to know divine principle very clearly. Become the substance of the word, practice the principle. That's why, you know, I already heard this chapter two principle, chapter one, chapter three, until the second coming, I listen all, already, I know divine principle, I almost memorize. It does not matter you are memorizing divine principle. You do not practice it, that means you do not know divine principle. 
That's why we need to encourage our second generation, our young generation. It doesn't matter young generation, old generation. Repeat again and again, or ten, even again, 40 day workshop, again, 40 day workshop, even 10 times, 20 times. Whenever our children have the vacation, summer vacation, and winter vacation, any vacation, any holiday, bring to Chongpyong, bring to our workshop again and again and again. Do not give a free time to them. Not simple matter, I am telling you, my brothers and sisters. Then what is, the, what is the, our dangerous thinking and idea? Because I already know divine principle. I already heard many times. This kind of conception, this kind of attitude is really dangerous. Very dangerous. Fallen men, without listening, reminding again and again and again and again, and then bring same problems again and again and again. That's why we need to have a habit of the fundoke. Fundoke is very important. Secondly, you need to be born, be born through the Messiah and receive the blessing. Because the blessing is the solution. Blessing is not just only marriage ceremony. Blessing is the solution to all the problems. Not just only sexual problems. Blessing is the solution. That's why Messiah brought, okay, brought to the human being the greatest gift to the human being. What is that? What is that? What is that? Blessing. Blessing. Greatest gift is a blessing. You must walk the model course with the Messiah to make Satan surrender. Not just only receiving blessing. Even though you receive blessing, you, you bring problems again and again. That's why absolutely we need to follow our true parents model course with the Messiah to make Satan surrender. We need to go through like our true father, true mother. Otherwise, no one wins Satan so far. No one wins Satan. That's why there is a formula course. Okay? Moses needs to follow the Jacob's formula course. Jesus needs to follow Moses' formula course. And then our true parents okay, need to follow Jesus' model course. You know to win? Satan. So only true parents win Satan completely. That's why no one showed that kind of model course. How to surrender Satan. Therefore, we absolutely resemble true parents, absolutely follow our true parents. Aju? Aju. The problem of the sexual morality